In today's video, I wanted to talk about a new game that just came out called Cave Diver and a book that covers the game's development. It's, it's for beginning programmers who are just trying to learn how to program in either basic or in assembly language for the Commodore 64. And it's by Jens Thompson from Denmark. But before I get into that, and I'll get into that uh, soon, I wanted to cover a few news items. And the first thing I wanted to talk about was Derek Morris's new book, Retro Game Dev, 64 edition, volume two, is back in development for the Commodore 64. And he also has a Patreon, which he's uh, developing a game for the Commodore 64, a racing game, and for the NES. And he's using some new, new development tools so go, go check him out. Go check out RetroGameDev.com and what he's doing on his Patreon channel. He's releasing lessons from the book, allowing you to follow along slowly as the game develops. The old school coder is also following him and has done a few videos re related to the Retro Game Dev website and how to set up your development environment. And he's also developing his own game the Neptune Lander game where he's going along and making changes in several videos and showing you uh, tutorials how to how he's making that game. And then finally on the NG Retro News website, I found out that Double Sided Games is giving out uh, Labé de Mort and a couple of games here for free for digital download. Vegetables Deluxe for the Commodore 64 and the VIC-20. And while I was on Double Sided Games website, I noticed they are developing a few new games. And one of them is the Hired Sword 2, which sort of looks like an Ultima-inspired video game. And it looks kind of neat. And it's available now for pre-order. It says it's going to be released on April 3rd, 2020. Now I wanted to uh, jump into the the video game and the book that was released by Jens Thompson. I first heard from him on, uh, he sent me an email. He got my email from the YouTube channel and sent me an email and has some assembly language type questions. And so we were communicating back and forth for the last few months. And then recently over the weekend he sent me an email and said hey I finished my game and I finished a book and I'd like you to check it out and I said okay but I need some more information about you you know after I looked at it and said hey tell me who you are and, and and that sort of thing so he got back to me he says he's from Denmark he had been programming since 1982-83 which was just a few years before I think I started uh, programming on the Commodores and he started with the VIC-20, then moved on to the 64, and then later on to the Amiga. And he programmed in BASIC and then got into assembly language. And then later on, he went into engineering school and he bought an Amiga and then he went on to the PC. And then he looked, and he, he basically became a programmer and he learned Pascal, Delphi, Visual Basic, VB.net, and C Sharp. And that's what he does for a living. He's a C Sharp developer. And he also, in his spare time, he develops iPhone and Android apps. And he just recently got back into the Commodore 64 and had a, I guess he has some nostalgia and he wanted to develop a game in basic and in assembly language. And so that's what he's done here. And his book is available on this link here. And he's asking $20 for the book. And I'll, I'll show you a little bit of the game. You know, it's, 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 it's interesting. It's called Cave Diver. And then there's another game here. That the, the Cave Diver game is a, a completely 100% in 100 assembly language. Um, he has a program listing for CBM Program Studio as well as Kick Assembler. And then he had also on his website for free, you can download uh, a basic game that he wrote called Tickle Tackle, which is like a tic-tac-toe style game. But here's Cave Diver, and it does require a joystick, so I'm gonna press fire. And so yeah, you gotta avoid the baddie right there while picking up, I don't know what they are. The um, You gotta pick up the little flags, I guess. 
Oh. I've completed this uh, game once, so it's not very hard to do. But, you know, basically all the mechanics are here, and in, in his book he goes over, you know, how he developed the game from the bottom up and everything. And so, it's kind of neat. It has sound effects. So I can turn that up a little. The fire button does nothing uh, in the game other than to start the game. And so you collect all the artifacts here and then you go through the, um, I guess, the, the, you touch the little thing at the end there, it opens a door and you can go through and then the game at that point ends. Ugh. Anyway, I'm not going to complete the game here, but I'm going to go ahead and show the basic game. Kind of bring that off the screen. And we'll go to Tickle Tockle. And this one was developed 100% in basic. And he said on his uh, email that it has a, a bug built into it. And you can kind of figure out what it is yourself. And I'm going to play two player. And I'll let you guys figure out what the, uh, what the bug is. And it draws a little tic-tac-toe board and you just pick the square you want to go in so five player two selects nine player one selects seven player two select three player one now i could block but i'm going to pick four and then let him win so pick six It's a very simple game. You can kind of go in and take a look at the source code and take a look at the program listing. So even though it's a basic program, there's a lot of uh, direct pokes to the screen. I know it's kind of listing by there fast. So anyway, that's Tickle Tockle and Cave Diver. I'll put the link in the video's description and maybe you can go go check it out. Here's a quick look at a couple of pages from the book. He gives his uh, background information. And then fast forwarding down, you can see there's the basic program for Tickle Tockle and the source code, some of the source code for the, the game. Now, the game, the book itself, it's a fairly short book, but if you follow it, it's mostly step-by-step -step program, like what he did in this program. And then some of his notes, kind of, it's kind of neat. It's kind of neat, yeah. And how, and it's how it, how it developed, how the, the game developed. And that's kind of what the book covers. And then he said his future plans are to make more video games, and this was just the, the start, but in the future without the book. Anyway, that's all for this video. If you're so inclined, go ahead and download his game, Tickle Tockle. It's free to download. And if you are interested, you could purchase the book for $20, his digital ebook. And thanks for watching again. Bye.